Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. In today's video, we're going to throw it back a little bit and talk about Iman Shumpert, who is one of the best 3 and D wings in the NBA during his career. We're going to talk about him at the defensive end of the floor, but first things first, during his time in New York and Cleveland, he was a pivotal player at the defensive end of the floor. There's a great story about him guarding Kobe in the garden. I'll have the link to that in the description, but his ability to really impact the game as a defender was awesome. We're going to look at his stats real quick. He averaged 7.2 points per game, 3.3 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.1 steals, and his average defensive field goal percentage for his career was 43.08. This shows his impact as an individual defender really making things tough for the ball handler to make plays. But in this video, we're going to dive into different things that made him so successful as an individual defender during his time in the NBA. We're going to start by talking about his stance. So as an individual defender, everything starts with your stance and ability to guard the ball. But we'll talk about sliding later. His stance, though, was honestly incredible to see. It's not most traditional in terms of hand placement, in terms of how he moves his feet, moves his body. But he did a great job at using his athletic ability to stay in front and make plays happen. Here's a great snapshot, though, of his stance. He's low. His hands are out and ready. He's in an athletic position, able to react to whatever the ball does. He just is so impactful with his stance. He's physical at activating at the point. He just made it very tough for a ball handler to decide where they wanted to go. He was up in their space, taking away what the offensive player wanted to do. And this all started with his stance. You can see he's low on the balls of his feet. He does a great job at having great activity with his hands, poking it out, making things difficult for the ball, forcing turnovers, walks, just being a pest at the point. This is all because of his stance, his ability to sit, be low, be reactive on the balls of his feet. And then his hand activity was second to none. He was truly a pest on the ball, being active, flying around, able to gamble a little bit. And this is what made him special. He wasn't afraid of the matchup, wasn't afraid of whoever he had to guard. And he was willing and able to be active, make plays, force turnovers, and be a winning guy at the defensive end. Besides his hand activity, his ability to slide was what made him so special at this end of the floor. Look in this clip against Kawhi. He did a great job at beating him to the spot, using his chest as the primary point of contact, staying in front, being low, being athletic, and then once the ball went dead, forcing a turnover. Here against Paul Pierce, you'll see the same thing. He does a great job at staying low, beating the offensive player to his spot with his chest, being physical and not backing down to the matchup. His ability to really meet an offensive player with his chest was what made him so tough as a defender, he is physical, he's not afraid. In this clip against Russell Westbrook, he beats him to the spot, chests up, and forces a really tough two. These next couple of clips, I want you to focus in on his lateral quickness and speed at beating guys to his spot. We already talked a lot about the chest as that primary point of contact, but his ability to truly slide laterally, stay low, be athletic, and then accept that contact with his chest was what made him so special as a perimeter defender. Being able to beat you laterally, but if he got beat on the initial on-ball activation, he did a great job at recovering and being tenacious in his ability to beat you to a spot. You can see in these last few clips, he does a great job at turning his hips, sprinting to a spot, contesting your shot, or making a play on the ball. We'll see a great clip here against Brandon Jennings. Brandon Jennings beats him on the initial bounce. He turns his hips, sprints to the area, and forces Brandon Jennings into a pull-up. This is great defense by Iman Shumpert at just being willing and able to do whatever is necessary to make a play. Here you'll see the same thing. John Wall beats him. He sprints back into the play and knocks the ball loose. His tenacity and effort at doing whatever is necessary to stay in front truly made him special as a defender. And the last thing I want to talk about in terms of Iman Shumpert as an individual defender was his ability to really contest and make shots difficult. Here against Steph Curry, we see a great example. He does an awesome job at contesting vertically, not making contact, and contesting the release. You can see throughout all these clips, he is excellent at contesting with a hot hand, but especially good at anticipating when the shot is coming. He tends to beat the shooter to the shot to contest the release point. Another thing he did very well was avoiding body contact while being in the airspace of the shooter. 
getting up close and personal to the shooter can definitely disrupt the flow. It is much tougher nowadays due to the rule changes to do this, but it's definitely something a lot of defenders can observe and try to add to their game to really affect shooters more consistently. Iman Shumper is definitely somebody that deserves his flowers in terms of what he did as a player throughout his career. He was a high level winning impact guy due to what he was able to do at the defensive end of the floor and also his ability to space the floor offensively. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new about Iman Shumpert's game as a defender throughout his career. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.